Today I want to focus much more on the big picture, on how our world could change in the next five to 20 years. My role here today is to help the delegates really understand what are the forces, the factors, the developments that could shape the world over the next 10 to 20 years and really give them a sense of, of the world into which they're preparing pupils today and to get them thinking about how well do we understand that world, uh, how well does what we're teaching reflect the needs of that world and to what extent do we need to see bigger change in the education system to reflect the kind of seismic changes we're going to see in the world around us? And to what extent can we, as the independent schools, really lead that change or lead the discussion about that change? Because we have the benefit here of, of some freedom that allows us to try new ideas and experiment in a way that the set state sector finds harder. And we have to get our heads around the fact that the world in five to ten years' time is going to be populated by multiple actors. Not just us, but enhanced humans, robots, all sorts of things playing a role in the workplace. So mine is not intended to be a, you know, here's ten things you can do in your school tomorrow at a practical level. It's much more of a big picture challenge to say, how do you take hold of a bigger picture agenda? And I'm going to outline a process for them for starting a new conversation about the future of schools and how you involve pupils in that process. So rather than having headmasters and headmistresses think about what might shape the future, to actually get their pupils going out and exploring what they think could shape the world in the next 10 to 20 years and coming back with scenarios of what they think the world could look like. I think that could be very, very powerful in starting that new conversation. Then we can bring the professionals in to say, okay, given that view of the future, what does that mean for what education is for, the way we teach, the way we learn, the role of the school, the role of the teacher, and really start some very different conversations to the ones we're having in society today. The belief is we could get three to five times uplift in human life expectancy. How do you motivate a 190-year-old deputy head? 